I'm Frosty. And I'm Hannah. Today is November four November fourteenth. Please rise from all of silence in the pledge to the flag. Today, a representative from West Virginia University will be here at 8. Tomorrow, a rep representative from East Charlesburg University of Pennsylvania will be here at 1.15. Any students interested in meeting with a representative, please sign up in Naviance. There is a yearbook meeting today after school in Mr. Bischoff's room. The snack bar will be closed during lunch for a holiday dinner. The meal will be served on all lines except for the protein pack line. Some of the items sold from the snack room are available from the vending machine. Attention all EHS students, please come out and support the effort of high school theater department's upcoming production of the timeless classic Romeo and Juliet being performed Friday, November 17th and Saturday, November 18th. Showtime is 7 o'clock. Tickets are available for purchase this week in Mrs. Ludwig's room, 233, or you, you can, or it can be purchased, <laughs> or it can be purchased. In the box office. <laughs> it can, oh wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. I can't. Just keep going. Just, just keep going. Got this. Student tickets are $5 and adult tickets are $7. Seatings is general admissions for this production. There, is no, there are no assigned seats. Now over to Seth. With <laughs> Dodge. <Don't j> <laughs> Donald Trump has returned home from his 12-day East Asian diplomatic tour. He visited Japan, South Korea, China, Vietnam, and the Philippines. The two main topics of discussion of the tour were defense against a North Korean nuclear threat and international trade deals, such as the TPP, which Trump pulled out of in January. Uh, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan have recently reopened borders following a gradual falling of Cold War-style relations. The two formerly Soviet Central Asian countries possess incredibly complica complicated borders, many of which split up families and prevented them from associating during the crisis. This marks an extreme development in the diplomatic sphere of Central Asia. Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy traveled to Catalonia for the first time since the imposition of direct rule on Sunday. He delivered a speech encouraging Catalonia's silent majority to vote in Spain's upcoming snap elections in December. Not Snapchat, like the old joke goes. On this day in history, Moby Dick was first published in 1851. The novel by Herman Melville is now considered a, a, a classic in American literature, but it was... When it was first released, it was, didn't really make a splash. <laughs> Melville died in 1891, and it wasn't until about the 1920s that this work was discovered and was a staple novel of high school reading lists. Oh, well. Also, today is National Pickle Day! Pickle Rick! <laughs> All right, now over to Seth and Carly with the lunch. All right, today for lunch, we have the Thanksgiving meal, which has the turkey and gravy with filling and a whole grain roll and margarine. A ham and cheese sandwich. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. <laughs> Buffalo chicken salad. Whipped potatoes. Glazed sweet potatoes. Grape tomatoes with dip. Assorted fresh fruit or slushy. And cranberry sauce and a harvest cookie. <laughs> The dodgeball tournament was held and the champions were Big Daddy and the boys. Congrats. Attention anyone interested in playing football next fall. There will be a brief meeting on Thursday, November 16th, immediately after school in room 122, Coach Miller's room, to go over important off-season information. Please bring your laptop to the meeting. If you are unable to attend Thursday, please see Coach Miller at your er earliest convenience. Go Mounts! Attention all ninth grade boys basketball players. Tryouts will begin Friday, November 17th at 4.30 at the middle school again. Ninth grade boys basketball tryouts begin this Friday at 4.30. Please be sure to have all paperwork turned into Mrs. Cummings by noon this Thursday, November 16th. Now for the thought of the day. Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Matt Rebook, and I have a thought to share with you today. Um, 
esteemed poet and playwright William Shakespeare is credited with saying, pleasure and action make the hours seem short. And when translated into modern English, that means time flies when you're having fun. I think that this is thoughtful because everyone at some point in their life will be in a situation where they don't want to be there. Maybe you're taking a really long test and you finish before everyone else. Maybe you're just standing in line at the DMV. If you can find any way to make that enjoyable in the slightest amount, you can make it seem to go by just a little bit quicker. If you're done with that test, try to take a nap. That's something that's fun to do. Waiting in line at the DMV, try to get to know the guy that's sitting across from you. Um, just anything you can do to make it go by a little bit quicker will make it go by a little bit quicker. Thank you, and have a good day. A.S. King is an award-winning author and compelling speaker. Both her life and novel stand as great examples of strong women excelling in life. How can your past experience shape your future? Young adult author A.S. King will be visiting the high school on December 13th to talk about her own mistakes and how they've led her to where she is today. She's open, honest, and funny, not to mention the author of more than eight critically acclaimed books, all dealing with characters your age. If you're interested in, in attending this assembly, please let Mrs. Hall or Mrs. Englart know as soon as possible. You will miss periods two and three and will be responsible for any missed work. We will also be selling A.S. King's books before the events so you can have them ready on December 13th in case you want her to sign your book. The order forms are available in the Media Center and on Schoology. STEM Sisters is hosting another free event on November 16th from 5 to 8. You can get your hands-on experience in cardiac sonography, engineering, and radio logic tech lab at Hacks Lancaster campus. Dinner is provided, but you must register. See Mrs. Hall to register or go to the North Museum's website. Honor someone important in your life, a grandparent, a sibling, a mentor, or a friend, by interviewing them for The Great List in 2017. For more details, stop by the Media Center on Tuesday, November 14th at 2.40 for a short information meeting on how you can participate. The School Counseling Office is holding a contest to look for artwork to feature on the cover of the 2018-2019 Course Selection Guidebook. If you are interested, please download a copy of the information sheet that has been posted on your Schoology news feed. The, the submission deadline deadline is November 22nd, so do not delay. Fire Frosty. The seniors have voted in the class of 2018 superlative winners are... Best Girl and Guy Friends, AJ Morales and Faith Myers. Best Guy Friends, Big Daddy! Big Daddy! Big Daddy! <laughs> and the boys, Big Daddy, Mason Sensnick, Paul Lowry, Adam Schwartz, Corbin Weaver, Nate Young, and Aaron Cummings, and Andrew Thomas. Best girlfriends, Emily Pauly and Jelena Hildebrand. Class couple, Lindsay Helock and Jebediah Real. Aww. Best, <laughs> best dressed, Riley Oleszczyk and Aaron Cummings. Best hair, Paul Lowry Paul. and Mary Miller. Best smile, Caleb Klein and our very own Hannah Lutz. Best dab, our very own Ethan Brubaker and Mary Miller. Most outgoing, Dylan Emiscuso and Jenna Razor. Scout! Most academic, Seth Bollinger and Nadine Eichenlob. That's awkward. <laughs> Both at most athletic, Andre Petrushev and Jenny Young. Most stressed, AJ Morales and Anna Panach Vatan. Class clown, Mason Sensnig and Sam Hostetter. Class procrastinator, Nate Young and our very own Ellie Wiest. Young Nate! Most artistic, Mary Grace Long and Mark Tchaikovsky. Most musical, Gerald Straley and Megan Lausch. Most theatrical, our very own Gerald Straley again, again and <laughs> Katerina Sandel. Most likely to be your boss, Edwin Crockett and Alice Schnorr. Most likely to brighten your day, Riley Leschek and Ethan Brubaker. Most nah. social media presence, Mark Tchaikovsky and Cameron Beck. Most school spirited, Hannah Lutz and Aaron Cummings. And finally, the one you've all been waiting for, the best couples that never dated, is actually a tie. We have Anna Promachentine and Edwin Crockett and Andre Petrushev and Cameron Beck. Congratulations to all who won. Dates and times for photos are still being de determined, but winners are encouraged to collaborate ideas for their photos. That's it for us today. After Have that. an alpaca day after Goodbye. that. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>